tonight now, a sucker punch caught on video at the King's Plaza Mall in Brooklyn. You can see two people walk up behind a 36-year-old man. One of them then punches the victim in the head, knocking him to the floor. This happened Saturday around 6 in the afternoon. The NYPD says this attack was unprovoked. The victim had serious injuries, now listed in stable condition. Police still looking for the suspect. Provoked attack caught on camera ended with an even more disturbing finish, and it happened at King. Provoked attack caught on camera ended with an even more disturbing finish, and it happened at King's Plaza Mall. CBS's Christina Fan has the video on how bystanders failed to act. Well, Chris and Mary, the unprovoked attack happened inside King's Plaza Mall Saturday, August 20th, leaving the victim with serious physical injury. Mall surveillance video shows the suspect in a white shirt and black shorts walk up to the 36-year-old man, seen standing in line, and sucker punches him in the back of the head. The victim falls face down onto the ground. Just as shocking is what happens next. Of the half a dozen onlookers, nobody comes to the victim's aid, not even the mall security guard who walks past the unconscious man. Shoppers we showed the video to left speechless. I don't even know what to say because, like you said, there was security and stuff, but nobody did anything. Well, I would never come back and have a shop as a 70 year old guy. I, I, I can't defend myself in case I go shopping. You know, I look every which way and hope nothing happens to me. It's very scary. The victim was taken to Brookdale Hospital Medical Center with serious injuries. This is another look at the suspect. If you recognize that suspect, you are asked to give the police a call. Reporting from King's Plaza Mall, Christina Fan, CBS 2 News. Yeah, that's savage. That's straight up savage, you know. And I go to the King Plaza Mall all the time, you know, and I don't know what these kids are thinking because every inch of that mall is under surveillance. So, so I don't know how they don't know that they're on camera, but hey, let's just hope they get caught swiftly, okay? Um, as for the innocent bystanders that the news is trying to uh, paint with this cowardice stereotype, you know, first of all, these people are unsuspecting. These people had their back turned. These people do not know what's going on. These people are clueless. And if you run over there too soon to try to help that guy, you know what I mean? These dudes will attack you as well. And then you don't know if there's more of them. You might turn around and see one or two of them standing there. But as soon as you jump in to try to help, all of a sudden, six or seven of them is standing right there. So you don't know if any of these people are armed. You don't know what this situation is about. So you could possibly endanger your own life by trying to get involved. So, but this is exactly how that African cab driver in Queens was killed. When he got hit in the face, he fell and hit his head on the floor. And this could have been the same result. But what I find interesting, once again, is y'all say that there are no foundational black Americans up here in Brooklyn, but this will be blamed on a foundational black American. Even though I can look at this boy and tell this boy is Caribbean. But you got Brandon from Pan-Africanism Strikes Back, who's over there blaming what happened to that cab driver on foundational black Americans, even though those teens were Haitian. And he's over there doing a live stream right now, trying to incite a riot, trying to make sure everybody labels foundational black Americans a hate group. So he's over there saying that what Tyreek is talking about and foundational black Americans is inciting violence against poor immigrant cab drivers. That's what he's over there saying. Even though the people that perpetrated this crime were not foundational black Americans, he said that this is Tyreek. This is a result of Tyreek's Hitler type talking points against black immigrants. So, yeah, y'all already know.
They said anybody that say they foundational black American is part of a hate group or anyone that says secure the tribe. So guess what I'm going to say? Long live the FBA and secure the tribe. These were not foundational black Americans.